We are continuing off the main card for Rose Nami Yunez versus Tracy Cortez. Let's get right into it. But before we do, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and follow, and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload. Let's go. Let's kick off with holy shit. Jean Silva is back. He fought on UFC 303, Europe versus Alex Pereira. He got a knockout, what, in the first round, I think it was? I don't remember exactly when, but he got a knockout and it was good. He's fighting Drew Dober in this one. Drew Dober is 27 and 13, fighting out in the United States. 5 foot 8 inches tall, weighed at 170 pounds in his last weigh-in, has a reach of 70 inches with a leg reach of 35 inches. Jean Silva on the other hand is 13 and 2, fighting out of Brazil, 5 foot 7, he weighed in at 155 pounds in his last weigh-in, he has a reach of 69 inches with a 36.5 inch leg reach. Not much to go off here at all, Drew Dober's got an inch of height, an inch of reach and Jean Silva has a 1.5 inch leg reach which isn't much and Drew Dober's also got the record. So there's not much to go off here. We can't base this off anything. Jan Silva with 77% KO TKO, 15% submission, 8% decision, and an 8 minute average fight time. Drew Dober, on the other hand, is 56% KO TKO, 19% submission, 26% decision, with an average fight time of 8 minutes as well. Although they both have a knockdown average of, well, Jan Silva has an average of 2. And Drew Dober has an average of a 1. I'm assuming this is the last round in their last fight. So what can we say here? Well, they both have KO TKOs, they both have submissions, and they both had decisions. Drew Dober has obviously the better, the higher record, so he's got the better looking stat. But Sean Silva, a higher percentage of KO and TKO, which means he would do much better on the feet. Which leads us on into significant strikes. Drew Dober has an average of 4 punches landed per minute. 40% of them significant strikes were significant strikes. He absorbed on average 4 punches with a 51% defense. Jean Silva, on the other hand, landed an average of 6 punches, 54% significant strikes, absorbed an average of 4 punches with a defense of 56%. I don't know how long Drew Dober's fight went. But I do know Jean Silva's only went like one one round. So obviously Jean Silva's gonna have the better looking stats because his was short. So most of his punches landed. Most of his opponents obviously got blocked. So there's not much to go for there. Let's move on to the last stat. And the last stat, Jean Silva has an average of one takedown, 50% takedown accuracy. Takedown defense of 72%. Well, Drew Dober has an average of one takedown as well in his last fight. 18% of that was takedown accuracy. 56% takedown defense. Again, there's not much to go for there. Who looked better? I mean if Drew Dober's fight went the full bout, then probably Drew Dober's, but because Jean Silva's only went one round, and not, not even the round, he definitely probably got less takedowns, but and he didn't do as many, so obviously it's going to look better for Jean Silva. So what does, who need to do what? I think Jean Silva should probably keep this on the feet, keep striking and get a knockout. Drew Dober, I don't know, I mean he could probably do the same. I don't know how each other's chins are. I haven't seen either guy get slept. Remember, I'm just a casual. But that's my thoughts and my opinions. What do you guys think? Who do you think wins? How do you think win? Pop it up. I'll catch you in a bit. Take care. Have a